What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you my Manchester United vs FC Basel match review. I'm sorry there wasn't one for Everton, I'll briefly go over that, um, but I was moving into this place, which you can see now, this is my permanent accommodation for the next year. So uh, yeah, it's actually pretty good for the lighting, for the sound, everything. Probably the best I've had since three years ago, I think. Two, three years ago, so anyway. Uh, on to the Everton game. Everton. Why did I say Everton? I, I know what I mean in my head. Um, but yeah, we drew 2-2 against Stoke. Uh, that was obviously disappointing. Chupa Moting capitalising on two defensive errors. One from Darmian and one from Phil Jones. Um, even Bailly wasn't amazing in that game. He was alright. But um, by the triple tackle, he was at fault for a couple of things as well. It was just a poor defensive display, which is a bit of a shame because our defence has been really, really good this season. Um, but we still managed to score two. Stoke away is a brutal fixture. All of the top six in the last three years have lost at least once to Stoke at the Bet365 Stadium. It'll always be the Britannia to me, but anyway. Um, yeah, so it's a very difficult place to go. Obviously, we're disappointed with the point. We should have got three, but we didn't. Um, and yeah, we're still top at the minute, and we just have to go on to the Everton game. Uh, Rooney's return, obviously, hoping it's not a happy return for Rooney, uh, hoping it's a happy return for us, and we beat uh, Rooney's Everton. But anyway, uh, on to the Basel game. Now, that was enjoyable. Um, I, you know, I, I wasn't shocked. What the hell am I going on about, right? No, um, I, w I wasn't surprised by the lineup or anything. Uh, it was exactly as you would expect. Rashford started against Stoke, so Martial starts now. And Mata. Mata is pivotal in this team. He hasn't really got any goals or assists, but he's pivotal for the way he links it up with Mkhitaryan and others. When Mata plays, Mkhitaryan's in the middle, and that's where he's most effective. And Mata links with the left back, uh, sorry, the right back, which is usually Valencia, but today it was young. Um, because Valencia was uh, rested. That was the one surprise in the lineup, I suppose. Obviously, Bay and Jones were suspended, so we had to go with Lindelof and uh, Smalling. But yeah, uh, Mata links well with the right back. Also, the central midfielder nearest to him, which I believe was Matic in this game, and then uh, obviously Mkhitaryan uh, playing just ahead of him, really. Um, and yeah, it was a really, really comfortable performance from United. We nearly scored two minutes in Lukaku. Uh, if it wasn't for a player getting his body in the way, it would have been buried into the back of the net really early on. But uh, unfortunately, that didn't go in. But we just kept piling the pressure on. And uh, eventually, we get the goal to make it 1-0. And uh, the first goal scorer was Fellaini. And the only bad thing in this game was that Pogba did go off injured. And it did look like a hamstring injury. I'm hoping it's just a strain. But I think worst case scenario, four or five weeks. Best case scenario, a week or two. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. And I put on Twitter that um, I'm not worried because, you know, Fellaini can fill in that uh, void. And yet, a year ago, two years ago, there's no way I would have ever uh, tweeted anything so ridiculous as it would have seemed back then. But Fellaini, not just because he scored, but uh, he's been really, really good under Jose Mourinho. He's improving, he's listening to Mourinho, he's becoming a bit more disciplined in the midfield as well. Not as rash as he once was, his passing is improving. You know, he seems to be embedding into the team. And I was delighted that he got a goal, made a fantastic run, and it's Young with a brilliant cross. How is Ashley Young still our best crosser at the minute? Like... It's embarrassing uh, because obviously Young is getting on. He's what, 31 now, 32, and he's being played sporadically wherever left back, right back, right wing, left wing, wherever. Uh, in this game, he was right back, and yet still he's putting in better crosses than some of our wide players, well, all of our wide players at the minute, when he's just a, a backup option like, to have. And yeah, it's a bit uh, annoying. But yeah, credit to Young, you know, he's going to be a useful um, squad player, as is Fellaini this season. And uh, yeah, Young to Fellaini, 1-0, and uh, from then on in, we never really looked back, and it was very, very comfortable. Um, Lukaku gets his goal, it's a header, I'm not entirely sure who crossed it in, uh, was it Mata? Whoever it was, it's a brilliant, delightful header. That's two goals for Lukaku with his head, two uh, from his right foot and two from his left foot like he, he just scores everything for us and that's what we need six in six and that's a better return than Ibrahimovic than Ruud van Esteroy, van Persie in their first games early days of course but Lukaku is looking like the striker that we've been craving for so so long and then 
Martial gets subbed off for Rashford. He had a decent game, uh, but yet again, it's the super subs with two subs in this game scored. And yeah, Rashford latches on the ball. Um, I, I think it ricochets or it's a rebound or something, and uh, Rashford just slots it into the net. Pretty simple. 3-0, uh, that's another debut goal for Rashford. Like England, England under-21s, Premier League, uh, League Cup, I think. Europa League, Champions League, Manchester Derby. He scored in every single one on his debut. Mental Lukaku's Champions League debut, of course. He's never played in the Champions League and he scored on his side. That's great. He's also scored in every debut he's played for Manchester United so far. So you've got the Super Cup, Premier League and Champions League. So it's looking really good. And Lukaku's on six goals. And what's great and what is different from last season is that we've got other players that are chipping in. We've got um, Rashford on three goals, Martial on two, Fellaini on two, a couple of other ones on one. It's just nice to see. It's nice to see the goals being spread out. We're not overly dependent on Lukaku like we were with Ibrahimovic last season. But of course, this is probably our easiest fixture in the Champions League, so it's hard to really judge anything. But at least we've got the three points, Basel at home. Um, yeah, I'd say the other ones are slightly harder. They're still fairly easy. We should walk the group very, very easily. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But, as I say, sorry that there was no Stoke uh, match review, not Everton. But uh, I'll be back with every single other one now that I'm fully moved in here. i um, enjoying it so far. So, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And, yeah, peace.